to be or not to be. Hello, my loves. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, you may be able to tell that my life is a mess and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about where I went, why I left, what's been going on since, and like what I've been up to. Um, so let's, let's address the elephant in the room. So firstly, well, I guess we could start with my AC. I live in Florida. It's hot. I don't know if you can tell my face is a little flushed. Um, I just got off work. Um, and I'm not going to sacrifice AC because, um, we turn the AC off when we leave. So when I come home, my house is, um, hot. Let's talk about the other elephant in the room. This leads into, um, sort of where, where I'm at right now. So why did I leave? Um, short answer, I got sick. My last, the last video I posted was June 18th, 2021. I got sick around that time and from there basically when I came back I hadn't read anything, I didn't have any ideas, I was having creator's block, um, I was depressed. For lack of a better word, I, um, trigger warning for depression, I have almost always been depressed, um, almost always had anxiety, um, but this last few the last six months or so have been really rough. Um, so a quick update. Um, when, so when, when it's summer vacation here, um, my son isn't home because my fiance and I both work full time. So it's impossible for him to be here. Um, unless we do, um, the, uh, summer camp. Um, which we have in the past and we're looking into again, but, um, we didn't have much thought about it. We hadn't thought about it much. Um, so when he's gone, I'm almost always depressed. We'll start there. Um, and then by the time he came back, uh, school had started up, my work life picked up. Um, it's just been a whirlwind, to be honest. Like, I have no other word for it other than whirlwind. Um, th my depression has led my desk to turn into this. Like, you don't even want to see what's in front of me. Like, the stuff, like, you can kind of see what is this here in the corner. Well, that's tape. We'll get there. Um, it's just been a lot. And, and like, I didn't feel like faking it. I have to be in a particular mood to read and I hadn't been reading and so I wasn't I wasn't ready to come on camera and act as if I had my life together so I also took a break from my other YouTube channel um, which is fine like if you need a break take a break do you know what I mean like don't force yourself to continue because all that's gonna do is hurt you and so I took a break and unfortunately my break was a little bit longer than I had anticipated literally every single time I've taken a break I don't know sorry uh, so for some reason it was reading as it wasn't filming and I got nervous but it's filming so we're good we're in the clear um so after I came back, or after I, you know, wasn't sick anymore, um, and my son came back, like I said, school was starting back up, work life, crazy, um, I can't stop looking at the area around me on my desk, it's just, depression is real, y'all, and then I felt like a fraud because I hadn't been reading anything, so that was difficult, and I'm, I'm very much one of those kinds of people who... I can only have one thing and I can only I can only do one thing really well so I had um, I have another channel as I mentioned um, it's linked in the description if you're interested and so I was giving that channel more of my all that channel was um, one of my sources of income and I had um, well is is one of my sources of income and I have um, started an Etsy shop based completely around sort of that channel and like what that channel is. It's an arts and crafts channel, I guess, kind of diamond painting and now turned cross stitch. That's another reason. 
um cross stitch took over my life y'all I, I don't even know what happened like half the stuff around me is cross stitch like that right there that's all cross stitch stuff um but the depression the depression really kicked my ass because here i am with this desk this bookshelf over here full of books this desk over here for editing diamond painting um working and stuff like that and i can't i can't focus and then that was you know, that's kind of where I was. And then in um, in late August, I started working on planning for my Etsy shop to open. So that took a lot of time, as you might imagine. Um, my Etsy shop opened uh, the first Friday in October of 2021. So I've been doing pretty well. Um, business is okay. Um, uh, it's stressful. But you know, you expect that you, you're, you're starting a business, you're going on a new adventure and everything, you expect that. And um, I expected my desk to get us here, so it was like not a big deal. Um, then November was my son's birthday and I launched, um, I launched another business. Well, I mean, it's still part of my Etsy shop, but I launched a business in which I um, design cross stitch patterns. Um, if you're interested to know what that entails, um, I wish I had an example to show. I do. So here are some of the things I have recently designed. These are my two uh, newest designs. This is Clementine and this is Beverly's Rats. It's um, a plague rat piece. And this one, like I said, is uh, Clementine. She's a Clementine mermaid. Um, so I also make, um, I design cross stitch patterns and I also make uh, diamond painting wax. So it's wax for diamond painting. Um, diamond painting is a craft. If you're interested, like I said, you could totally check out my channel, but basically I made this, this is, um, a tool sort of, you put, you put this in your pen to get diamonds to stick to it and stick it on a canvas. You can kind of see some behind me. So, um, so that took up a lot of time because I was doing this. I was dyeing fabrics. I dye my own fabrics. Um, I also make, um, thread conditioners. This isn't like a product placement. I'm just trying to like explain and like kind of get you, um, in the mindset of what I was doing. I also make candles, um, just, just a hodgepodge. Um, so I had been putting my all into, uh, focusing on, you know, designing and creating and stuff. So I wasn't having as much time to read anyway which is totally fine. Um, you know, my, my passion for reading is constant, but my ability to read sort of ebbs and flows, sort of like my ability to be creative. My, it, it ebbs and flows. Additionally, my ability to create content ebbs and flows. So, um, we were in an ebb. We have been in an ebb since, um, June of 2021. Now, I'm not saying I'm back permanently. I'm not saying I won't take breaks. I'm just saying like you can probably guarantee you're gonna see my face more than once a week. Well, let's start out at once a week, okay? Um, so that was September then, um, no, that was August, no, October, <laughs> sorry. Um, November is this and then my son's birthday was in November and then uh, we celebrate Christmas, so then it was Christmas time, and I got Covlorona for Christmas. So did my son, so did my fiance. We all had Covlorona. Um, it was about November time that we also started planning our wedding. We've been um, in the process of planning our wedding for seven years. Like, I, honestly, without exaggeration, um, longer than my son's been alive. But, you know, they're just like everything else, it ebbs and it flows and our ability to um, see past um, the uh, curtain. Uh, you know, uh, how do I say this without being ridiculous? So essentially, um, we've planned our wedding off and on for years. Um, this is the first time it's serious, like we actually have a cake. We have a cake. Like I have a legit cake contract in here, so it's for real this time. So we are getting married in September of this year. Um, oh, there's some more cross stitch patterns um, back there, but it's fine. Um, so that's uh, that's sort of November December time. Now let's let's walk into um, let's see December January. 
Oh, also during December, I was doing Vlogmas. I vlogged every single day in the month of December on my other channel. Um, so that was that. Um, let's see, January. I'm sort of recovering from COVID still. Um, having uh, more cross stitch patterns come out, having more waxes come out. Um, paying attention to my business and stuff like that. And then uh, February, um, February was a rough month. So we were supposed to get married in March, March 26th of like, like this month, like as in, in a few days, basically. And um, February, everything fell apart again. So um, a couple things happened in February. So February was the month that we had to push our wedding all the way back to September again. And also additionally in February, we were doing a mental health event on uh, my crafting channel. And like we were talking about um, just like how it's okay to like not be okay sometimes. And, and I designed entire cross stitch patterns about that. Let me see if I can get some to show you. Cause I'm proud of these. So here is our wedding cross stitch pattern it says love anchors the soul hebrews 6 19 um so there was that one and then um uh, it's okay to not be okay our event was called um our event was called reach out so this is reach out um and then this one is my favorite it's called bad bitches can also be sad bitches so that was, you know, what I was doing in February along with my Valentine's patterns. So these three and then um, I have another one, but I don't feel like digging for it. Here it is. This is my cat Caesar. I designed this one as well. He is part of the series. Um, so that was sort of February. I was getting into my designing groove and coming into my own as a designer, but also really, really struggling um, because the wedding got pushed and I also felt like a fraud all February because we were talking about mental health and I could barely hold my head above water. And I'm being like super candid, super vulnerable. I've talked about mental health on both my channels now. I've, I'll talk about it with anybody who wants to listen because it's it's a problem that a lot of people face and not everyone's willing to talk about it. So I will be that one. Um, so yeah, mental health, it's, uh, it's a bitch. Um, yeah, so um, I can't, like I said, can't promise that I will be here for evers and evers. Um, I can't promise that I will be consistent, um, but I can promise that A, I um, have been reading a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit in the last uh, couple days, and um, that I want to come back. And that's, that's really like that, you can't, you can't come back until you're ready to come back. You know, mentally, emotionally, you have to be ready to take that step. Um, and so I am glad that I am filming this video now. I have another video I wanna film today, potentially another one also. Um, but one of the priorities for today, for this week, is going to be to get my desk organized because that's another thing. Like, it's, it's hard to have the motivation to film when your desk looks like this, but it's also difficult to push through and get it done when you're depressed, but this is, this is depression. This is, this is depression. This is depression, right? So the cluster caused, the, the cluster was caused by depression, but it's causing additional depression and causing me to not be able to do the things that I want to do, which is you know, film. I want to be a content creator. It's kind of why I'm, you know, that's why I'm here. Sorry, I'm going to fix my hair real quick. That's why I'm here, right? That's why we're all on this platform because we want to consume or we want to create content. So anyways, I've got, I've got a whole desk to clean. I've got, um, four or five videos that I need to film for my other channel. 
plus a secret that is in the works and has been in the works for about a year now. I'm just finally ready to take that step. And that's really what it all boils down to being ready. I am ready to return. I want to come back. So here I am. I'm back. Thank you so much for watching me talk about my mental health, talk about why I left, talk about why I'm ready to come back. Thanks for being supportive. Um, I hadn't touched the channel since the last time I uploaded the video, so I am shocked to say that my McRiva connection video hit 1,000 views. I don't know when it hit 1,000 views because I hadn't been on. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm really, I'm here and I'm ready to be here. So that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, I have a tentative schedule of Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, basically, I need to work uh, content around my other channel, right? So um, you can't post a book video every single day, right? So, but you can post a crafting video every day. So. <laughs> Um, I'm looking at one to two day, one to two times a week here and almost every other day on the other channel, probably like four videos a week. So if you are following this channel because you found me organically through the booktube community, hi. Um, I'm sorry that my desk is a mess. I'm sorry that I'm a mess. I'm sorry. Um, if you're just finding this video, hello, I'm not sorry. Um, this is who I am. But if you found me a long time ago and you've been waiting for me to return, I'm sorry that I left abruptly without like even sort of explaining it. I do apologize for that. Um, and then if you follow me through the crafting community, y'all already know this. This is nothing new for you. Thanks for watching anyway. All right, I am gonna go. I hope you enjoyed my new intro. I am so proud of that. I love that. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go. I have a desk to clean. I have um, videos to film. I have to go get my child in a little bit. Um, and I'm back. And it feels good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right, I hope that you are being safe. Washing your hands. Taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.